Hey everyone, Broadbent here and welcome to my modded Valheim series. The goal of this series is to explore what mods have to offer, completely changing the way the game plays, adding new content, and really unlocking the game's potential. I hope you enjoyed today's episode, so let's get started. So we're starting today's episode in the main menu because I just removed the Val Raft, sorry, Valheim Raft mod. I no longer need it now that the, my, my raft fell off the edge of the world. So if anything goes wrong with the world, I sort of want to capture it on the screen pretty much here. So I'm just going to make sure I've selected everything correctly. Let's load in the world. I have, I'm yet, in all my episodes of playing modded Valheim, I'm yet to remove a mod that has something physical in the world. So I'm just a little concerned. Uh, that things could go wrong. I am very curious as to what happens to my two portals that were on the rafts that went over the edge of the world. I hope they disappear. I want to get rid of them off of my list. Oh my god, teleporting here always freaks me out. Okay, what I'm going to do is temporarily enable god mode, and I'm going to go and inspect the rafts. So here are the commands I just enabled, and I'm going to fly down here, hopefully with no issues. This shouldn't kill me. Okay, so it looks like we've got a few bits of leftover pieces from the raft, which is a little concerning. So I'm actually going to destroy these with my hammer just because this is clearly broken. I think what's happened here is every single build piece, I've actually had to enable a, another command here so that I can delete these. Um, they've all just sort of like merged on top of each other. Every single piece from the raft. That's so cool. Now, don't worry. I'm not going to be collecting any of this stuff. This is all dead. I'm not going to pick it up. Don't worry. There we go. Finally. All right. I'm just going to make sure that the second raft has gone. And then we can get out of god mode here. And return to the original world. I'm not even going to pick that up. Where is my raft? There it is. Let's just destroy everything. I don't want any leftover stuff at the edge of the world here. There we go. Dev commands false. And we are back to normal. <laughs> Hell yeah. Right. Th these waves are getting quite large right now. So I'm just going to head out of here. Today, we are going to be working at the edge of the world once again. I do want to get the whole thing pretty much done today. So the first thing we need to do is farm some stone. I don't have enough stone. I'm going to quickly look at the option of buying it, actually. So I'm about to go farm some stone, and someone in the comments had an amazing idea to make farming stone a lot easier. I'm actually going to do it right now. If I can find your comment, I will have it on screen right now, but if not, I am sorry, I did try. Uh, but right here, what we're going to do is use the vein mine mod to destroy a stone. The idea is we place down an item drawer, which has an auto-collecting feature. So what we can do is actually, we need to pre-select it with something. So let's go mine a stone over here. Alright, let's give this a go. I'm gonna pop this rock. My vein mine mod isn't working. There we go. It was my macro. And then we should see all of that stone get auto-collected in one quick sweep. Dude! That is such a great idea. And then I can trans transfer, transfer it to the base super easy. A thousand stone. Let's do it again. <laughs> that was fun. And it's just going to go straight into the, the collector. <gasps> well, that time my pick broke, but damn, that's so sick. Right, that should be enough stone. Right, what I'm going to do now is actually go and find a nice flat area to plan the structure out because this is going to take some planning. Okay, right here looks rather decent, actually. It's right next to where I'm farming with the elder locks. Let's actually go check on the status really quickly. I wonder if he's grown. Ancient Elder Locks. I think he has. He's bigger and the saddle's gone. Dude, he's gigantic. Ancient Elder Locks. How have I been in this world 24 hours? Trunk seat. Oh, you get an extra seat with him. Wow. So what we're going to do right now is plan the build on land. Now, it would be very difficult for me to build this entire thing in the ocean where it's going to be. So I'm basically going to make the base completely real and then make it a blueprint and build it over there. So it's basically like an Ikea base. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is throw down my original build. 
One thing I do need to do is find out how tall the water is over at the edge of the world. That is going to be interesting. Because <laughs> I think it's quite high. <laughs> okay, let's quickly get to safety up here. And then we can go. Wow, I've triggered an event here. Nothing spawning. <laughs> That's cool. Right, let's find out how deep this is right now. Oh! Ah! Well, okay, well, something's spawning here. <laughs> I just didn't register what type of event it was. Of course, they don't need ground. Damn it, dude. Dude, I'm scared to go there right now. It's right on the edge of the world. Come on. Don't stop farming me immediately. Ah! 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 Okay, good progress. Uh, 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 don't push me off. The cauldron calms. Okay, that was very scary, dude. Uh, okay, well, let's continue and try and figure out how deep this area is. Day 400, let's go. Feels like yesterday I was on 365. Wow, that's incredible. Okay, so it looks like our tower at a minimum needs to be four four meter beams tall also one really annoying thing is the gizmo mod makes it so you can't rotate build pieces um with the build hammer you can do it with the normal hammer but unfortunately i don't know why you just can't do it with plan hammer that is the bare minimum height just to cover the waves <laughs> That's crazy. Putting it on land like that, the waves go anywhere from here all the way up to here. Wow. Okay, so, with that in mind, what just happened? What? Okay, so, that is how high you can build without any iron beams. So, I'm definitely going to need iron beams. With that in mind, I'm going to get to work building a new blueprint that we can stack up really high. And I'll see you when we've done that. Okay, so I do have the blueprint ready to go. Uh, so what we're going to do, I actually made a new section here. The mods are updated to make categories now. So this is really cool. Uh, what we're going to do is throw this down. Mm, yeah, I think here. So we'll try and get this right. It doesn't have to be spot on because I can always modify the terrain. Um, but this has iron beams and everything built in. And you can easily stack this all the way up. This has everything I need. And this is great. Now, this is only one tower. I'm actually going to be building two towers today. I think it was four minimum and one at the max. So, let's throw down one more build piece here. If I can get it. Now, hopefully I can build that with iron beams. That is rather tall. But keep in mind, the ocean waves are going to be crashing against this. Fluctuating massively. So... Uh, most of this you won't see all the time. It will be under the water. In fact, most of this you won't see at all because you'll be on top of it. Let's check the price. 2.5k stone. Doable. Very doable. 120 iron. Expensive, <laughs> but unfortunately, it is needed. So, if we look in here, we should see these beams are perfectly connected. Absolutely beautiful. So they will go into the ground as well. So it's properly set up this tower. Nothing wrong with this at all. All right, the first thing we're going to throw in is the wood and iron. And let's see what happens here. This should all go smoothly. It's going to take its time, but it will build the iron beams all the way to the very top. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Dude, this is so cool to visualize the stability like this. Wow. Great mod. Plan build is an outstanding mod. 2,520 stone. Luckily, I do have quite a lot here. So let's chuck all this in. Oh my god, man. I'm going to get all this back. Obviously, like I've mentioned, this is just a demonstration and a planning to make sure it's all going to go smoothly. There's a good chance I'm going to need beams on those outer corners. Oh, I don't know. I'm going to give it a while to update here. Let everything cool down. And if this is still stable, we're going to be good to go. Wow, look at those iron beams doing all that work. Why is that one blue? That shouldn't be blue. That is incredible. <laughs> I 
I guess it's not actually that high. It seems very high, but it's not. I'm really quite tempted to go a little higher. Now I know that the height is all good to go. I'm going to get to work on the second tower. I'm not going to show you all the details. I'm just going to jump ahead. It's when I pretty much have a finished build here. Okay, we're over in the creative world. And I have, in fact, finished the build. If you're a little bit disappointed because you, you didn't get to see the whole build process, I'm just going to let you know that it took about three and a half hours. So... I wasn't able to show you all the details. Uh, there was a lot of problems. I spent a good half an hour just staring at the waves in the survival world. Calculating how high this needs to be. I built it... Uh, I built it four... Five... Four meter beams up. So 20 meters tall. Too high. This bridge basically would collapse. Uh, so I had to lower it down by four meters. Which luckily is possible... Because the waves, basically, every now and again, they will scrape the bottom of the bridge. So, it is damn perfect. In terms of the build, it's not exactly what I had in mind. But overall, I'm very happy with it. It almost reminds me of Azkaban. And that's where it's going to be in the ocean. So, yeah. I've also added a little nice little bridge over here. This is all real, by the way, stability-wise. There's absolutely nothing wrong. Well, it's not exactly the most stable, but... Nothing's going to be added. And you can get all the way out here. And then the edge of the world is going to be right here. In front of this tower. So now I've got the delightful job of making this a blueprint. I'm sure this will be easy with no problems. <laughs> okay, I've got the build highlighted. That's the easy part. The hard part is actually getting the anchor point in the correct position. I think I want to have it right here. Uh, basically, the center point marker basically... It's where the build will rotate around when you go to place it. So it's very important to get this right. Um, but I think right here will work. <laughs> I'm a little worried, but I can always come back. This world isn't going anywhere. I'm saving this build. So edit selection. And then we'll save. I'm going to show you what it's going to be like. In my blueprint section, I should have. Here it is. So you see how everything's rotating around that marker that I placed. This makes it extremely easy to get it to the very edge of the world. New build piece. Edge of world bridge, dude. Ugh! I'm so excited. So, just over here, I've marked out... I've marked out the min and max height of the wave. That's the max, and that's the min. So, from what I can tell, it fluctuates by about 14 meters, I think. Um... Right, so, I kind of want to keep this marker. It's very important. So, let's switch to this and start deleting some stuff here. Now, what I need to do is basically raise the terrain right up until this level. Right here, because the water can dip down to just above that bottom of the beam. Actually, there you go. <laughs> Perfect. So, uh, that shouldn't be too difficult at all, but if I... If I raise it too much, we've got a problem. Look at that. So, what I've done is actually raised the ground incorrectly. Oh my god, I'm just looking at my player up there. I've raised the ground incorrectly. I want to get this further off the edge. Okay, that is looking a lot better. I think I can just get a few extra bits out of the, uh, the edge here. So, um, I need to raise it just a few more times here. Got to be extremely careful. If I go too high, I've got to start over. With the terrain, at least. Not the whole build. <laughs> I'm just placing an entire structure. This is so bizarre. Right. It's like an Ikea base. I think this rotation right here looks spot on. And maybe... My build is going to go inside the current build. But that's okay. We can tidy it up once we've done it. Okay. I've just double-checked everything, and it seems to be okay. Unfortunately, the anchor point is slightly too far forwards. I should have... Oh, I raised that terrain perfectly. I should have brought it a little bit further back into the build, because now this is happening. Does that make sense? The anchor point is where my crosshair is. So, not really much I can do about it, unfortunately. So... I think we're good. I'm just going to plop that down right here. Jesus. If the water wants to go above ground, that would be amazing. Uh, three, two, one. Left click. 
This thing's huge. <gasps> oh my god. Okay. Um. Yeah, we'll have the perfect place to build with. That's amazing, actually. That worked out so well. Right. Unfortunately, it's not quite as over the world as I would have hoped. There's really nothing I can do about it. Um, that is as far as I can get. But I think it's good enough. <laughs> I will be able to see over the edge, which is what I wanted. But it's this waterfall gap that's throwing it off, so... Yeah, anyhow, let's get to building this beast, shall we? 4,500 stone. I have to do a little bit of farming here. I didn't even see the 284 iron it's going to cost to build. I've only got like 120 smelted, so that's going to take a little while. And unfortunately, iron is the first thing that I need. I'm going to place all the iron down, then the stone. I somehow completely forgot that I need to raise the ground in order to build this thing. <laughs> it's just floating. Okay, so I did miscalculate raising that ground quite a lot. If you look right here, the edge isn't supported at all. So I'm going to use the reset terrain function. Hopefully this just works. It does. Look at that. Let's just carve away everything here. But not my supports, please. The pillar. Thank you. Okay, that might be too big. <laughs> that is the production that I need right now. Because I should have enough iron. 305. So, what we're going to do is chuck down the iron first. Because that will go straight into the iron beams. We're just going to completely cross off the iron requirement right here. 276 iron. That is ridiculous. All the iron is going into one build. Oh, that's so much. Although I, I really couldn't have made it any cheaper. Okay, I'm just going to chuck it all in. I think it requires the wood anyway, so I'm going to go and grab 600 wood. <laughs> okay, let's chuck in some wood. Not too much. We are going to be double checking things as it builds here. We should see the iron beams go in. Every time you teleport, the stability has to recalculate, so that's why it takes a little while right now. Um, We should have to wait... And then we should start to see these iron beams go in here. This is like Tower Bridge. This is sick. Oh, there we go. Something's happening. I want to take out that stone. There is no stone in here. Okay. Uh, we're seeing something collapse. That's concerning. Look at that. Wow, that's a lot of iron. I'm going to chuck in the whole lot here so there's less chance of anything falling. This is incredible. It's like the skeleton of the build. Hopefully nothing collapses here. I think we're looking good. It's just gonna uh, look over here. There's one left there. Nope, oh, that's built. And that should be... Everything. <laughs> Alright. I don't think anything's collapsing. I think it's all good. Uh, I'm actually gonna drop the visibility down. Just like that so I can see... Um, but that's the structure. You can see, um, all the stuff that I've done to get this working. This is sick. This is such a cool look right now. I'm in love with this mod. The next thing is probably just going to be all the stone. Uh, the core wood is a decorational feature that I've added, so, yeah, just going to throw in all the stone, and this thing shouldn't have any problems at all. Now, the stone I'm going to throw in one bit at a time. Because if something does go wrong, it's very possible that a lot of this can collapse. So we're going to chuck in maybe a row at a time and very delicately build this thing to the top. <laughs> Look at that, dude! <gasps> in terms of the scale of the ocean, this thing is tiny. But if you were to plop this on land, man, it's gigantic. All right, let's chuck a row in like that. And then go and spectate the build. So, it looks like maybe the first row is going to finish first. Obviously. Look at that water level. I got that spot on. Oh, you're doing that. That's interesting. Very odd. Uh-oh. 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 I'm going to go ahead and take that out. We don't need to uh, have that in there. All right, let's keep adding the stone here. <laughs> It's coming alive! Oh yeah, that's all the stone. It just gets deleted so quickly. 
That's not even a thousand, I think they just put in there. So each inventory is 1,350 stone. So, already a lot gone in here. <laughs> if I can chuck it all in, there we go, in one go, I can go out in free cam and take a look. I'm going to have to pick up all those resources in the ground here, or in the water. Oh! Jesus! Any more? What's collapsing? Why? I don't want to see anything collapsing. It's building the foundations first because the foundations are part of the bridge. Quick, get more stone. I'm pretty sure other parts of stone is contributing to the stability of the bits of stone that are collapsing. So I have to, uh, I have to add more. Oh, I can't see my hood. Bro. Oh. It, there can't be that much left now. 500 stone to go. Quick. I decided to just chuck in 700, just because in case anything does collapse, I've got a bit of extra. I feel like whenever I step on this, I'm going to fall through it, but it's real. <laughs> Bro. Just got a few more things to build around here, but this should all be getting done extremely soon here. <laughs> and there we have it. Wait, there we have it. My guy, this is done. Just a little bit of stone. <laughs> this is so surreal right now. I'm just... Uh, uh, oh, we're not quite there yet. A little bit left to build. Weird how the supports under here are missing. I think I just forgot to add them, honestly. Oh, oh I don't like this. Oh my god! Okay, alright, we're gonna finish off the build. What is it? Just some wood and core wood? Oh my god, that's gonna be annoying. Right, let's chuck all this in. Oh, one more. I've got 50 extra wood on me because I'm pretty <gasps> sure I've got... This is why I installed the railing. I No railing on the bridge because it just makes sense, I think. Um, health and safety wise it doesn't, but it looks way cooler. Come on now. You're holding me up. There we go. Right, so this area's done. Uh, let's head over to this bridge. It's adding everything but the core wood first. The gizmo mod is really cool. It's just unfortunate it's got that one conflict uh, with the, the rune. The blueprints, but that's okay. I don't want to step on there. There's a little bit of wood left to go in. But look at this, man. Oh my god, this is so cool. I wish I could get like a better view of the project. I'm kind of hesitant to jump on the edge here, but... <laughs> you can't even see the terrain. It's all just worked beautifully. Although you can see something there. That's the stone and floating in the ground. This is perfect. Absolutely perfect. Missing a workbench. Well, temporarily, I'll chuck this right there so you can reach. Beautiful. <laughs> oh my god. Alright, I don't have anything too valuable on me, but I'm just checking the stability. This looks good. Oh. Oh. Oh my god, my heart is pounding. I'm over the edge of the world. And look at the waves. Oh, finally. Dude, I've been at this all day trying to get this build to work. Wow. I think this is my new episode starting location right here. <laughs> And because of the way I built this, if I want to, I can add more towers connecting to the main tower, which is much bigger. That's the reason why I wanted this to be bigger, is because I can have another tower going off here, a tower going off here, another one going off there. You know, this would be a great place for a portal hub. Wow, okay, well I guess the last thing to do is some quick cleanup. So, reset. And that should collapse, and that's the way I'm going to do it with all of these, just reset them and let them collapse. 
Like that. Bro, look at it from under the water. Wow. Okay, reset that one. And I've got one more to very, very carefully reset here. This could be, uh... Bad. But it looks like it's okay. Let's uh, meet it halfway, destroy these. There's a beam in the way. And let that thing collapse. See you later. <laughs> I'll probably get the rest of those after the episode is done. Um, but one thing I do need to do is remove all these drops that are in the water. Uh, what I want to do is chuck down a few standing torches on the corners of these builds. So we'll put one there. I wasn't sure which color to go with. I'm kind of thinking that I want to do blue because it's an ocean build. Yeah, I'm going to do blue. I don't know why I want to do green. On there. Yeah, blue. Blue's better. I wish there was more colors for the standing torches. And I was wondering, an easier way for the devs to do it is to not make individual torches with the colors, uh, their own items in the menu. Just make the standing torch, and then you use an item on it to, like, dye it. I'm not sure if it was already like that at one point, but imagine just building the normal standing torch and then you use guck on it and then it becomes green. That just makes so much sense to me, at least, but here we have it. This is the edge of the world. Let's very, very carefully make our way here. This is a one-of-a-kind build. I mean, I'm sure people have done this in the past. I'm not claiming to be the only person, but it's so cool. I love this. I'm going to reset the environment and go into free camp. So, resetting the environment basically changes the color of the sky, the environment that I'm in. Just so you can really appreciate this build, because you're not going to get an angle like this with all the mods that I have. Look at that. And you can just see my island in the background too. This is top tier building. I, I love it. I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode, but for now, that is going to be the end. Next episode, I don't know what I'm... Hopefully something a little different from building, because I think I need a break. <laughs> Plus, I can't really afford it after this monstrosity. This has been extremely expensive to build. Anyhow, I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video.